Alright guys, it's your boy D'Anthony coming back at you. Now, just got through watching episode 7, Insecure. Whew. I think it's called Real Effed Up, but I'm going to call it Miss Gives All the Peeps, because I love this episode. This episode was brilliant. Now, these episodes are only 30 minutes. You get so much in this 30 minutes. I'm like, man. So, from the beginning, she's putting on dresses. They're juggling back and forth. You know, she's kind of like um, showing us her awkward side, her awkward side, or her insecure side, you know, because she doesn't know what kind of dress to wear. She comes out in this uh, sundress, and I like the sundress. I'm like, there you go. But it does not say, you know, give me your money. So, I get it. Got to go back in there and get something sexy. And she come up with one that's, that's backwards, you know. She's like, it ain't backwards. No, that's backwards. You got titties on your back now? <laughs> that was funny. So then we go on to the next scene. Her boyfriend just got a new job. Lar or Lawrence? Terrence? Ha. Ah, Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence just got a new job. And he kills in an interview. And he gets home. He tells Issa about all, all this stuff that, she's gonna, that he's going to be doing. And she's all extra happy for him. And talking about the benefits. And he's like, shoot, I could have done, you know, I was way ahead of the game with my own app. And she's like, well, what was that supposed to mean? And he's like, I'm thinking about not taking a job. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. If you mean you ain't taking the job. And she like to say, she like, what? And so he go on this little crazy rant about how you're not going to take the job. And I'm thinking like, bruh, get your ducks in a row. You can use this job as a tool to invest in your real uh, business that you want to have. What are you talking about? You're not taking a job. Uh, dumb. Anybody that dumb. You know, so, but we needed to see that. So in this episode, I really like how they show Baldwin Hills. And it's funny because they say, you know, oh, all the white people are like, oh, I've never heard of this. I drive past this neighborhood all the time. I've never seen any houses like this. And it's so funny. They just think we just live all in apartments and ghettos and messed up streets and broken uh, street lights or something like that. Like, no, we got nice areas too. It's not just all ghetto that we live in. There are some rich, rich black folks out there, if you didn't know. So I like how the show is showing us in that light as well it's not that's what i'm saying like this show gives you you know you got that that balance nothing wrong with the cosby's nothing wrong with the um all the ratchet tv housewives or whatever but we need that balance though black people are not just on this you know on the edge of the extreme scale you know we are we're somewhere in the middle most of us you know so i like how they're showing this and it's showing other people that you know, black people do live in nice places as well. So I did appreciate that. All right, so then we get to the actual event that she's, you know, doing. She's putting on, she's putting on a fundraiser for the kids. Now we get to the event, and oh snap, old dude shows up. He was looking kind of sharp, actually. I was like, I need to give me an outfit like, I need to give me a suit like that, bro. Like you look, I like that look. He was looking kind of clean. You know what I'm saying? You know, but uh, but her her dudes, you know, he was kind of dressed up too, so she wasn't just picking no raggedy dudes. She didn't actually downgrade. Let's say that, you know. I guess women know how to cheat. I guess they don't really be downgrading. That's just us to be downgrading. Hmm. But anyway, the old dude shows up. He like, where is Issa? I need to talk to her now. <clears throat> This is a cold conversation. If you ain't never heard of cold conversation, this is a cold conversation. He's like, I've been wondering what's going on with you. How come you ain't been responding to me? And she like, yo, you knew I had a boyfriend. He's like, yo, this ain't no victim. You saying you ain't no victim. You don't, you know what you was doing? He said, I just wanted to come here and ask you, why you treat me like a random nigga? And I was like, dude. Got him! <laughs> like, what's she gonna say to that? So then she went overboard with it. She, well, actually she went lower with it, with the low blows, and was like, you just an itch I had to scratch. And I was like, Killed him! Dude. 
like, damn, just an inch? Golly, I can't even be like a, a I don't know, a, a vice, I, a, a habit I have to get over. I'm an itch, like, done, we're done, done, like, dang, that's deep. That was messed up. I thought that was real cold. That was cold right there. So then it ain't over. So her friend, Molly, been going back and forth about how bad the, oh, I, I thought there was going to be some two. There's only two bartenders back there? Uh, oh, I thought there was going to be some more men there. Uh, she over there hating because Issa in the, in the episode said she might need some therapy, you know, because her ussy is broke. That's what she said. Her ussy, I said ussy, you, not saying the whole thing, ussy, this is in the episode, not me, it's in the episode. So, she upset that she's calling her out saying you need to go ahead and fix yourself. Maybe, maybe, this might be a good idea, never know. So, they get into an argument over their lives and what they're doing in their lives and her friend is like, you don't even deserve old dude. Was I not just blocking old dude, you know, from finding out that Lawrence is here, from letting them meet? And then Issa's like, yo, all your man relationship is all on you. You can't keep no man. You mad because you can't keep no man? So then they break up. I'm like, this deep, yo. Like, her life is going to shit. Like, quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, woo. You just knocking, you just knocking them down as they come. I'm just knocking them down. I'm like, you ain't got it. I'm like, Issa, can you relax, Issa? Relax. So then she finally gets home. And she's like, oh, I got us a gift. Brought us some champagne. Bam. And Lawrence, her dude, was like, who's Daniel? And she's like, huh? <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> like, you heard me. You know what I said. And she tried to play it off real cool. Like, oh, oh yeah, he he, he uh, volunteered for the kids career day and they invited him. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. And he like, uh, did y'all fuck? Did y'all have sex? And she's like, why would you ask me that? I'm like, oh my God, why would you ask me that? <laughs> like, girl, <laughs> why would you ask me that? Cuz, cuz I am. That's what he said, cuz I am. And I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, bruh. That's what I'm talking about, cuz I am. So yes or no question. Hey, no, why would you ask me? No, no, I've never done that. No, we never did it. Or you could have played it off like we used to kick it back in the day, but not now. Before, I maybe we used to kick it back in high school, but not now. But that's just the guy in me. I guess I, we probably would have got caught up in a lie anyway. Like... I don't know, but that's just what I would have said if I was in that situation. Not that I cheat, because I don't cheat. I don't cheat. I'm just saying, if I was to, that's a better answer than, why would you ask me that? <laughs> so, she ends up admitting it, and he was, and she was, he was like, are you serious? I'm so stupid. And she said, it was, I tried to tell him it was just a mistake. And he was like, you messed up what we had over a nigga, that's a mistake? I was like, dude, <laughs> like them responses is on point, on for real. Like I love, I love the show. Uh, and then he ends up leaving, and it's a, it's a big thing now. Oh, I don't know. It's deep because he really lived his life for her. He wanted to impress her, so to be like. I cheated on you with some random dude that was a mistake. He like, what? So he can't he can't wrap it around his mind right now. And she's so still thinking about her. She like, don't go. I ain't moving. Don't go. Like, girl, you better move about that dough. Before he body slammed you through that coffee table. Cause uh, you don't know what he's thinking right now. Cause this dude on fire. And I can't really blame him. You know, but it's it's a, it's a it's a deep episode, you know. I think her friend probably do need some therapy. Because when she get a man, she be doing the most, I will have to admit. Like, she like, oh, can you meet my family tomorrow? Like, we just met yesterday. Uh, no. <laughs> like, uh, no. <laughs> you know, so, and 
I don't know. It's it's gonna be a good. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be a good episode. The next episode. I can't wait. I'm definitely a fan of the show. I'm a definitely a fan of Issa. I'm proud of her. Uh, it's nice to see you know brilliant blackness on screen. That shows a little bit of you know everything. You know they show she she a little hood sometimes. She she get she get a little snappy neck snapping, but she's still intelligent. And, you know, she's still got goals and she still, you know, has perspective. So, I feel like she's not always just so angry at her friends, but sometimes she's got to let it out. And I feel you. But I think they're going to come back together. I think I think we got one more episode. I wish we had more. I wish we had like 10. I'm tired of these, these shows that only have like 8 episodes. But, um, in any case, I'm proud of her. I do appreciate the show. So, I heavily have to do uh, another review. I should have did a review for all the episodes, but... <sighs> Sorry, guys. But, alright, I'm D'Anthony. That is Insecure, Episode 7. You check us out. Uh, all our other reviews that we do. Um, we put a lot of time in those skits, guys. So, definitely, you know, at least watch the skit and laugh a little bit. And give us some feedback. And give me some feedback. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe I'm a little too crazy. A little too wild. And I need to tone it down. Or, maybe I was boring to you. But then... Everyone has the right to be a liar. Cause I know I was entertaining. So if you think that I'm if you think I'm boring, you lying. Stop lying. Issa? Shoot. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.